a $119 million modern bridge is being constructed in Maruka Region 1. The bridge is expected to benefit over 10,000 residents. The new $190 million structure at Maruka Region 1 will replace the old wooden bridge that was below water level. Tushao Santa Rosa Juanita Phillips said that the residents are eagerly anticipating the completion of the new concrete doubling bridge. I feel very happy that the government has taken the initiative to give us such a lovely bridge. And I know that our minister here, before she was even minister, has been fighting for something like this because I've known her for so many years. And she always said to me that she would love to see us have a beautiful concrete bridge here. And now it's a reality. The new bridge will comprise a concrete deck supported by steel beams and a timber substructure. The length of the bridge will also be extended since the approaches are prone to flooding. It is also being constructed high enough to allow for boats to pass under it. So we've had bridges before, but you know, they weren't good. They didn't last very long. But this I know that our children and our grandchildren and their children is going to see this, this bridge is going to be here for a very long time. Minister within the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, Valerie Guridolo, who visited the construction site recently, said that the bridge is just one of the many projects being executed to make the lives of the indigenous peoples more comfortable. This bridge here is a promise to the people of Santa Rosa, a promise being fulfilled that we would give them a strong concrete bridge that would last them many, many years. So, you know, um, I'm hoping that this work yeah, this is, is really bridge, yeah. quality Strong work. Quality. The previous Maruka Bridge was constructed in the 1980s to facilitate pedestrians only. It was subsequently upgraded at approximate cost of $43 million under the former administration to cater for vehicular traffic. After spending an additional $50 million for revetment works on the eastern end of the bridge in 2014, the structure remained inadequate and below the water level, forcing the residents to resort to a makeshift bridge. Recognizing the hardship faced by the residents, especially during the rainy season, the APNU ASC government prioritized this new modern structure. Seneca Thorne, InfoHub.